Yo, YouTube, what's up? It's your boy Ikari back here again with another video for y'all, man. So, man, let's get right up into it. First off, I want y'all to go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Show your boy some love um, so I can keep growing out here and give y'all more and more information, man. So, uh, excuse me, I'm, I'm real hot right now. I was just exercising, uh, running, and I just took a shower. You know how sometimes after you shower, you still be hot from a workout? So, that's me right now. I'm trying to um, get back to my fighting weight, you know what I'm saying, I'm right there. So anyway, with no further ado, man, I just want to get into the topic today. Uh, I'm going to be talking about Colombian girls versus your American standard girls. Um, obviously, I've been getting a lot of questions off my last few videos having to do with dating relationships. And it seems like a lot of guys just don't understand me, don't understand what I mean. Um, so I'm going to try to really explain some of the concepts I've been talking about. Um, first off, man, let's talk about the the modern women and modern women in Colombia, modern women in the United States, Western, the Western world. All right, so the reason I said a lot of what I said in my last video um, is because of the of the place that you know women have kind of carved out in today's society. Um, I don't necessarily have a problem with with their place in the society. It's just when I'm looking for a wife and I'm looking for someone to settle down with or have kids with or do the more traditional stuff with, I don't necessarily want a modern woman for that. You feel me? So um, I'd rather have more of a traditional feminine woman for that. So that's the first misconception. And I saw some dude in the comments talking about, um, you know, talking about, you know, I bragged about pay, paying for women um, to go out to dinner and uh, women paying for me. Um, yeah, I don't I don't know what he's talking about. He said something about, I said I'll take a girl to McDonald's to test them and everything. Anyway, you know, of course, I'll let a girl pay for me to go to dinner um, just because I don't necessarily want to settle down and get married to a modern woman best believe I'm dating the fuck out of modern women. You feel me? Um, it's still capped, if you know what I'm saying. Um, you know, so why turn that down? Especially if a lot of them have their own money and you don't have to front or, you know, pay for their stuff all the time, you know? So that's a plus. I'm not saying I completely avoid modern women like the plague, because that's not the case. You know what I'm saying? I'm still a man, I still go off looks. If I think you're beautiful, then I'm a pursue but what makes me want to spend more time with you and bring you into my life is your submissiveness, your willing to, your willingness to, um, you know, be loyal and go through, go through whatever we gotta go through. You know, I'm always thinking about like when I'm messing with a girl, like what would she do if the worst happened? What would she do if this happened? Because I've had the not the worst, but bad, uh, good situations turn bad, and just to find out and see. A girl switch up and do something that I figure was more beneficial for only her and not considering both of us. So I'm looking for the type of women that, um, you know, put themselves second, you know, instead of always being first. Because a lot of these women today, man, they are, they're selfish and they think of themselves first. But that don't mean you can't sleep with them. You feel me? So that's all I'm saying. Like right now, I'm not at the age where I want to sell down and get married. I'm still out here enjoying myself. So. Um, you know, when I say women should serve you, when I say they should be, uh, they should give up the, the want to be famous and, and have these great careers, um, that's only for the women that want to have um, a real kind of family, a traditional family where the man is working and they can kind of chill back and just um, take care of the kids, and which is a lot of hard work, don't get me wrong, like it's chilling, because it's not just chilling. Um, but yeah, man, the, I'm looking for uh, that type of kind of old school deal, man. Like, uh, I don't want to have a, a marriage where um, we're both going to work and we have to always compromise and it's always a, a back and forth. Because to be honest with you, that's not the a man's place necessarily. At least when you look back at history, sure, if you just look at today, a lot of simps out there are like that. They, um, you know what I mean? They, they're with their uh, wife. And they don't make none of the decisions. They don't, you know, um, kind of, they don't really lead the family. And I bet you nine out of 10 times, it's because they're either splitting the bills 
or maybe the woman's making more than he is. And I'm telling you, um, when you're when you're dealing with a woman that you know <clears throat> is is um, is working, and you guys are kind of on an equal level, that can really throw off. A relationship depending on what type of man you are if you're a simp and you're used to compromising with women and all that and you don't you know for me I've been living alone since I was since I left high school bro so for me to the thought of meeting a woman and now I have to run every decision through her you know what I'm saying that doesn't really jive for me so that's why for me, it's just a whole. It's so important for me to have a woman that's a real good follower, a real good um, supporter. You know what I mean? Support me in what I do, and trust me in what I do, right? And the results will speak for themselves. And a lot of guys have problems getting their women to submit like that because they don't have the results. You feel me? Um, you can't pay for her. You you don't have your own house. You don't have your own car. You don't um, have the ability to go on trips and do whatever or support a family or whatever. But you know, that comes with time guys, you know. Um, like me, I you know, I have I've had my own spot for ever since like I said, ever since I left high school, even though I was living up um, at the dorms and I lived with my uncle for a little bit, I still paid my uncle rent. Um, nobody nowhere I ever lived I can just not, you know, pay rent and live for free. I could never do that at, after high school. I swear to you. Never down live anywhere and pay and not pay nothing after high school. Um, so, <clears throat> you know, with that, um, so I, I'm used to being on my own providing. And I, you know, over the last five years or so of my life, I really started to think about um, my family long term. And, I, and that's what made me start saving so much and investing my money because I'm like, well, you know, if I take this money that I would usually spend right now and just buy something with, you know, buy something of appreciating value with it, then it can help me long term ease the load when I want to go buy a house for my family, when I want to go buy a car for my girl and myself and, you know, take the kids to summer camp and go on vacation and do all that type of stuff. Because, um, you know, what I mean, that stuff costs, man, and doing it on your own is not easy. And I get that. Um, so when you, when you <clears throat> are wanting a girl that's um, going to be super submissive and be more of a support person, holding the home down, holding the kids down, you know, you have to be ready to take the the, the lead and, and be ready to cut that check. You feel me? Because um, if you want if you want to tell your girl not to work or whatever, then you know what I mean you're gonna have to make up for the difference and really. You're not really making up for the difference. Um, you're just paying the way. You know what I mean? Because if you look back in time, that's how it always was. Nowadays, we try to, you know, oh, it's supposed to be two people contributing to the household. Well, you know, that's fine. But um, <clears throat> it doesn't have to be that way. And if we look at the, the most successful people in society, generally, um, you know, that's how they have their life set up is um, their wife doesn't have to work. The woman doesn't have to work. Now, um, when it comes to Colombia, Colombia modern women, right? Um, I mean, there's there's definitely a difference here in Medellin. A lot of women do have to work, right? Um, just because it's just how it is, right? But they what they don't do here is they don't go um, acquiring a whole lot of overhead. They don't go to a hundred thousand dollar school leaving with sixty thousand dollars in credit card debt and all that type of stuff um which is a liability for a woman going into a marriage you know if, if i'm uh, dating a, a woman she yeah she might be a lawyer now but she has a hundred grand in credit card debt and she's planning on having kids a year after we get married and you know where is that you know then that hundred dollar hundred thousand dollars becomes my um uh, my debt basically is the guy that's going to be working the whole time while she has the kids and and uh, takes care of the kids for the next I don't know 18 years or so. So you know I mean those are the things you have to think about. Like when you when you're dealing with Colombian women, they're usually um, maybe not as educated, maybe not as um, you know well traveled or well versed and things like that. But they do not have the crazy overhead. <clears throat> you know, so that that goes a long way. And I'll tell you something about these Colombian women.
that um especially in, I'm a black man so I, I'm gonna speak a little bit on the black girls I mean there's a ton of black girls out there that just don't take care of themselves and out here in Colombia that's probably my favorite thing about um, the women out here is that they really take pride in their appearance and rightfully so because if you think about what I'm saying then it's smart because you know that men think off or men um, operate off looks so women here are so smart that they don't even want to step outside without being at the perfection right so and when I'm in the States I see women all over the place um, especially black women um, overweight you know just uh, crazy hairdos just really really um, you know just out there you know what I mean not really taking good care of themselves not caring about their appearance so much because they don't got comfortable and really they're um, bringing in masculine energy and becoming more alpha when a girl goes out um, and complete you know sweats and and you know in in the town going to the supermarket just looking ran down and, and being well I just don't care about you know in her head I don't, I don't care about what people think this is me that's kind of masculine energy to me you know <clears throat> I'm used to since I've been living in Colombia <clears throat> Girls will not even let you see them hardly without, you know, being done up a little bit, you know what I mean? Unless you, you know, you're dating them and they're sleeping over and you see them in the morning and stuff like that. But I mean, to, to the girls out here, the pride that they put into their appearance is just amazing. So a lot of girls out here, I think um, if I just had to give my opinion, um, they, 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 they still have like what a more traditional um, relationships out here, like we used to have in the States. Like a lot of the girls out here, once they get married and everything, they're not working, especially in Envigado, Poblado, the nice areas and stuff. Um, <clears throat> you know, you see a lot of like stay at home moms. I see it all the time over here. Um, and then just even in the barrios and stuff, you can tell that um, the dudes, a lot of times are the, the dudes are working or there's a ton of single moms out here. So you do see a lot of women go to work, but um, that's a, you know, a, a problem that we have in the States as well, tons of single mo moms. And why is that? Because a lot of men end up having with, uh, kids with alpha women and, and they're low key beta. And so when, after they have the kid and they have to try to have a, a real relationship it just doesn't work out because the girl um you know what i mean is too bossy you know I, like baby mama drama bro like i done seen all a lot of my cousins and uncles and stuff and you know that's some shit you just don't want to deal with dog like that's some especially when women they'll do whatever they want they'll disregard whatever you know uh what whatever is beneficial for all three as a family, they'll disregard that and just, you know, come up with something that's just good for them or, or justify it saying, this is just good for the baby and this isn't good for everyone else. Or, you know, women, a lot of times, especially when you get on their bad side and they don't trust you, they don't respect you because you're beta, man, you can forget about it. You can forget about having your way. You're just gonna be <clears throat> basically a punk to her. And you know what I mean? I like my, my longest relationship out of college for about four years, a little bit longer. Um, I'll, I'll never forget. We used to uh, argue all the time. And finally, Shorty told me, uh, I just don't respect you. And I just don't know why. And I'll never forget that, bro. I'll never forget that, man. That's from my heart. Like um, that changed my whole, whole outlook on relationships and women. Because I noticed that the reason she don't respect me is because I'm over here, um, you know, acting like we're supposed to be compromising on everything, you know, uh, or I'll, if I got plans, I'll uh, check with her or, you know what I mean, do stuff like that. And um, that's just not the natural place for a man and a woman. Um, the natural place is more along the lines of, <clears throat> as a man, you do what's best for the family and the woman will trust you, right? And like I said, or and they'll respect it, you know what I'm saying? If they don't respect it, there has to be a reason. There has to be a reason. So like with, with the girl I was dating in college, I, I was too 
willing to give in to things that she wanted. That was the reason she didn't respect me, point blank period. Um, if I wanted to go somewhere to eat, I would still ask her and we didn't know where, where she wanted or, you know, stuff like that. So um, that's just kind of like an example of, of what can happen. Like when the girl doesn't respect you, then they start, you know, doing stuff that, um, you know, it's just not in your favor, like even cheating on you, you know what I'm saying? It, co it comes down to, to those types of things, respect, you know? So um, with that, I just wanted to touch on the subject for y'all and then give y'all a little insight with how it works in Colombia, man. Cause he, I noticed the women out here, they're so much better at maintaining their respect level. Um, and, and in America, it seems like the women have so much masculine energy, they're always challenging your respect. They're always challenging and seeing how far they can push. And in Colombia, I don't feel like women try to push as hard and challenge a man's respect. It's just more built into the society here that that um, you will respect your man. You know what I'm saying? Whereas America, we just ran them up to the point where, you know, and I'm all for women's rights and women's voting and stuff like that. Um, Cause you know, I, and I don't think women shouldn't lead the family because they're stupid or nothing. I think women are, can be as equally as smart as men, um, you know, and smarter in some cases. But when I'm talking, having a family, getting married, finding someone that I can be with for the rest of my life, um, I have a different set of criteria, man. It's not all about your uh, book smarts and your degrees and your job and how much money you make. That's not what I'm looking for when I'm looking for a long-term woman. Now in the short term, bring it on. Bring it on, man. Bring it anything's open. Girl, if you wanna be disrespectful, I'ma just, you know what I mean? I'ma dog you out and then I'ma go, I'm go find me a respectable woman, you feel me? So. Um, that's just my take on it, man. And, and you know, women do the same. It's crazy that dudes will get on my page and then try to talk me down and tell me that I'm, you know, why do I want to treat women like that and this and that. Dog, do you know the shit that these women will do to us? Like, dead ass, bro. Like, it's just amazing how dudes will sit there and try to, like, just detract on what I'm saying. But then, not, I mean, these are the dudes that be getting cheated on. And, and be believing the girl, you know what I'm saying? Because I've been on both sides, bro. I done been cheated on in a long distance relationship. And then I done, bro, when I was in college, let me tell y'all this story. When I was in college at Prairie View, freshman year, I, hook, I started hooking up with this girl named Tiffany, I say. And she lived right across the street from, um, you know, the front of the school. It's called, so they got Dooley's on one side. If you're from PV, you know, you got the Dooley's right in front of the school, but on the other side of University Ave, you got some more apartments over by on the Brewbreaker side where that used to be. And so she lived over there and I used to go over there, you know, uh, creep up and we used to do our thing, you know what I'm saying? And I think this was like the third or fourth time I would see her. But one night, man, one night, we was in there getting our, you know, get our freak on, whatever. And all of a sudden, we just hear banging on the door, bro. Like, banging on the door. Thank God she had locked her door, bro. Thank God she locked the door before we went in there. Um, because what what happened after that was just mind-blowing to me. Her boyfriend started yelling out, the, you know, what the F is going on? What the fuck is this? Blah, blah, blah. And he, mind you, he still... First... First, we heard stuff like someone coming up the stairs because it creeped. We looked, but then we kept going. So I think he was just sitting there listening to see what was going on. And then after about a, maybe two or three minutes, he started banging, right? So at that point, I went and like, I was looking for a window to jump out of. Because she was on the second floor, but it, there was some windows. So um, she was like, nah, I go in the bathroom, go in the bathroom. She locked me in the bathroom and then she went out and talked to bro, talked him down. I don't know what she said to bro, but he left. And, you know, I was scared to leave because I thought maybe he might be staying outside because niggas is crazy like that. Niggas will be looking to hurt me for um, taking the opportunity to smash their girl when 
the girl gave me the opportunity to do so. You feel me? So, dog, like, you know what I mean? That 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 type of stuff, you know, it comes down to respect, bro. She don't respect that nigga. You know what I'm saying? And when I got cheated on, my girl ain't respect me. You know what I mean? So, a lot of uh, respect comes from you handling your business, you being a force in the community, and the and the and also in in your uh, career field. Um, to the point where, you know, Michelle ain't gonna go talk crazy to Barack. It's just not gonna happen, you know what I'm saying? Because she got respect for that man. Why? Because that man is has earned that respect, you feel me? He has earned it. So when you earn your respect, you know, you generally don't have to deal with this as much, this disrespectful thing. So that's why a lot of dudes, they need to focus on earning their respect and instead of trying to be all buddy-buddy and and level-headed with their woman and trying to like um, find a, a common ground of respect with them or try to convince the woman that they should be respected. You shouldn't have to do no convincing with that. You know, it either is or it ain't. So um, that's my experience, man. I just wanted to touch on that, give y'all a little bit more advice, a little bit more clarity. Um, I'm getting some really good comments, so y'all keep going in the comments. Hit me up on Instagram, man, cry.hq. Um, yeah, stay in tune with your boy, uh, like, comment, subscribe, man, I'm about to be up out of here, y'all let me know what y'all want me to talk about next, man, we just an open book over here, alright y'all, fuck with y'all, peace.